So, yeah, okay, defeat seven times, four times. I tried a insane difficulty a couple of times, and we'll probably go through a playthrough of insane, because I haven't been able to make it terribly far. But starting from normal, and you know what? Oh. Hello. Sims11TZDG. You're a developer on the game. Oh, hey. What's going on? You're one of the three. Welcome. Oh, well, this is exciting. So, uh, insane difficulty is really insane. <laughs> it's kicking my butt, man. What would I change to improve it? Uh, the game as a whole? It's not really much I would, I would improve. I think you guys are on the right track. Um, one thing that I... One thing that I would change, and it's not really so much a change, just the option to, to change it. In the middle of gameplay, when I get an option for an upgrade, I don't necessarily want to interrupt the gameplay at that time. I'd like the option to just choose my upgrades when I want. Just kind of keep them in the hopper when I'm ready to use it, when there's like a little bit of downtime in the game, which granted isn't... Yeah... It's just the option I'd like to have, that's all. Once you get used to it, you get used to it. Um, no, 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 not so much in between runs. Like, I'm talking in the game. I'll show you what I mean. I'll just start a normal gameplay. Uh, do, 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 do. Who do we want? Overlander or truck? So, Overlander. Um, like a button or a pause. Pause could work. Or a button on the screen, like you, if I just press a key and I get my upgrade menu when I'm ready for it. It's, I mean, you guys give like a, a one or two second buffer after you choose the upgrade to figure out where you are, which is great. I like that. And I think it's just a matter of preference. Some people wouldn't mind having the upgrades right away and, uh, or they would just forget about it. Um, but some people like me just want to have that. We're, we're control freaks and we just want to have that control, you know? <laughs> so let's go with Overlander upgrades. How would you choose when? Uh, probably. I probably try to find, I don't know. That's a good question. How would I choose when? Like if I'm in the middle of mowing down a bunch of mutants, I don't want the upgrade uh, option right then. Maybe afterwards, maybe when I've, I've got like a split second, like, okay, I gotta get that upgrade now. I'm ready for it. That's it. Um, but I find that at times it interrupts me right when I'm in the middle of action. Does that answer your question? Cool. Can I ask you a question in turn then? It's not a gotcha question. It's a, it's a, it's a fair question, I think. What would you say... Oh, thanks. What would you say you are most proud of? This is your first game, right? I mean, I suppose there's that. But in this game, what do you think you're you're most proud of? No wrong answer here. You wanted to make a video game company when you were a kid. I bet a lot of kids have that dream. So releasing a game at all is a dream. Well, you know what, man? I, I really, I gotta say, I'm... Like I said, I've got about uh, just under 10 hours of this. And I'm enjoying the hell out of it. It's fun. It's one of those games that I... I saw the, I saw on Twitter, the screenshots. I thought, oh, that looks interesting and nuts. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Personally programmed the UI and the characters speaking and the barrels. The UI is really smooth. Um, no complaints about the UI at all. I've been making notes while I've been playing this. 
So I'm probably going to make a, a video post it on YouTube. But yeah, it's, it's UI is very smooth, very responsive, no issues with it. Actually, on the whole, and it's going to start sounding like I'm kissing your ass. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just being honest. If there's a problem, I will tell you. Um, I haven't noticed there haven't been any uh, gameplay issues, no crashes, no bugs that I've encountered so far. So this thing, this game is really tight so far. I'm impressed by that. First game, yeah, this is, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where you guys go with this. Reach the boss in reverse. Oh, I missed that. Kind of settle, I started to settle into a couple of different strategies here. One of just sort of uh, getting everybody in a cluster. Yeah, see. Oh, no problem. It's it's my pleasure to play it. Um, like I said, this is a lot of fun. You don't have to thank me for this. I'm I'm really enjoying this. Really early on, uh, especially in like easy or sorry, not easy, but normal and hard mode, the upgrades come so quickly. Um, I just like a little bit of time beforehand, but I'm just kind of kicking a dead horse. So don't mind me. I just wanted to show you an example of what I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, I don't even know if I clicked something. It, it honestly, it doesn't, I don't know the first thing about game development. Um, so I don't know how complicated it is to to add certain features like that hope it's not too uh too difficult for you guys then again with what you guys have made here i don't think that'll be an issue for you uh, i like having the boost tank one thing i really appreciate though is that i get a different flavor every single time and by that i mean i get different upgrade paths so i can choose different play style every single time because the drops I mean the drops are random right so changing the upgrade frequency and giving the player a decision when the upgrade would be fairly easy cool glad to hear that are you guys uh, planning on doing any updates to the demo maybe showing a little bit more of what's to come or is this largely going to be it aside from maybe like Performance tweaks or whatnot. One build a day. Whoa. That's quite a pace you guys have set for yourself. But that's awesome, though. Steam Next Fest on the first. Right on. See, I always go for the healer drones right off the hop. These things are just so bloody helpful. Well... I mean, if... Oh, that was a great run. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by my own playing. Can't win without healing. It's it's a lot harder, that's for sure. <laughs> it took me a, a couple of different playthroughs uh, before I found... Um, oh, which, which upgrade was it? The uh, Louis upgrade, which... I, it's a reference to Interview with a Vampire? Is that right? Nice. Yeah, that upgrade's pretty useful, too. Oh, these red guys. Um, you don't really have any loading screens in this game, though, do you? I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen any. It would be cool to have some more information as to the different types of enemies that you encounter. And they're... Their combat types, like the red explodey guys, the green uh, projectile dudes. I, I don't, I'm just calling them that because I don't know what they're actually called. I'm not assuming gender. Oh. Uh, upgrade magnetic field. This is awesome. But information as to maybe different tactics or what they do would be great. I'm, I'm talking in terms of the different enemies that you see.
But if I can think of anything else, uh, we can use that to build on the story as well. Is there a story? I mean, outside of... Because I, I read pretty much everything I could from the Steam page and um, the website for this. I understand that it's post-apocalypse and Earl and Edna are basically going... Well, Earl's working for Edna to exterminate mutants. But beyond that, I couldn't really find anything else. Oh! Earn his retirement. Okay. So, the idea was for Earl to earn his retirement. Neat! I'm, I have so many questions. Where is he going to retire to in the post apocalypse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. I genuinely, I, I want to know. Or oh, I wonder. And after he earns it, he plays Edna. Oh, that would be fun. So who gives the upgrades to Edna then? here. Three saw drones or one healer drone? Hmm. I'm going to stack the healing. We're kicking around a couple of ideas, but we're thinking Earl retires and coincidentally Dark Humor dies from a heart attack right after. You're going to have to forgive me. Who's Dark Humor? <laughs> Is that the big bad? Okay, that's what you mean. Sorry, the way that I read that, I thought dark humor was a person. Does dark humor do this? <laughs> okay. Okay, I can see that. You know what? This game does seem to have a, a sense of humor, so I think that would be kind of fitting. But yet, I hope you didn't spoil too much of it. Um. <laughs> That's fine, I think you're the only one here. <laughs> it's cool to be able to chat with you, though. That This is awesome. I'm chatting with a developer of a game while I play their game. This is a little weird. Streaming is something that's somewhat new to me, so I haven't had, op I haven't had an opportunity to do something like this yet. Again, thanks for joining. This is, this is terrific. Yeah, man. Uh... Charge Nitro Booster. Oh, I hate it when this happens and I can't choose. Ah, let's go with Boost. I saw that you guys in uh, some of your trailers teased like some different cars. I think one of them was a, a sports car. I thought, oh, that'd be cool. Driving like a, a super awesome high-end sports car in the post-apocalypse. That'd be a little weird. Hopefully it's not a convertible. That could get a little messy. Oh, castle or lead foot. So one thing that I've found is when you've already picked level one of something, you usually, the upgrades usually will give you the second and third tier. So I'm going to pick lead foot because I like that too. You want to have a forklift where you can control the front and flip people. <laughs> like an exaggerated forklift where you're flipping people like pancakes? That could be fun. Or a steamroller would be interesting too. Hello, Blind Godia. How are you? Steamroller, yeah. Oh, man, there's so many different ones you could do. You could do... Oh. <laughs> the 
boss man's here. No, 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 no. Don't apologize. It's been great. That's been great. I've really, I've really enjoyed, uh... Oh, Because he spoiled the ending. He's not bugging me. He's just as enthusiastic about this game as, uh, as I've been, actually, while playing it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. I... I haven't gotten to the point yet where I can even finish one run of insane mode. I think I have to upgrade my vehicles first. Oh, speaking of weapons, I'd love to. Oh, great job with the weapons, though. They're 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 great. Uh, I've only so far seen just the the regular gun that you start off with, the Gatling gun and rocket launcher. I, are there any other in the demo that I haven't gotten yet? Oh yeah, Insane is super hard, but it's called Insane. You know, it's like ordering Inferno-style hot wings and they're they're meh. You don't want that. If something's going to be insane, you want it to be insane. Explosion defense is good, especially against those red guys. Always try to keep an eye out for the red guys. Because those ones can ruin your day. Oh, right, I forgot to mention the, um, the sp is this a shotgun, the one that I have right now, I guess, right? Okay. I was calling it, yeah, I was calling it the spread fire, which I don't know if any of you guys are, either of you guys are old enough to uh, remember Descent, the old uh, 3D space game. I love that game. Played it a lot in high school. You're for, okay, so you do remember then, because that was around... Yeah, Descent was a freaking dope game. I loved it. Well, I mean, I'm around the same age as you guys, so we're, we're all old farts, I guess. <laughs> ah, saw drones. Yeah, Descent was awesome, but that's why I keep calling this weapon the Spread Fire Cannon, because that was one of the weapons that you had in that game. Armageddon. Ah, uh, don't believe so. No, I remember hearing about it. I don't think I ever played it. I've played a, a lot of games throughout the years, and some of them I actually don't remember. And part of the reason was that I didn't always play games for the right reasons. Armageddon, wait a minute. Correct me if I'm wrong. Armageddon, didn't that have... Or am I thinking of another game? Wasn't there one vehicle that was like some crazy ice cream truck that was driven by some homicidal clown? Is that the same game I'm thinking of? Ooh, boost flames are fun. Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, Twisted Metal. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Twisted Metal was fun. Twisted Metal was nuts. So then I haven't played Carmageddon. I'll check it out, though. I mean, I still think that there's a place for... I'm, I'm a, what you call a very patient gamer when it comes to most games. I'm trying to change that around and play more indie games because I honestly just love everything about them. I find that most people that make indie games do it out of a passion and not because they're trying to earn a buck. I think gaming industry is too much of an industry and a lot of times, and I'm not saying this for everybody, but a lot of times the motivation behind making a game isn't to make something fun that people can enjoy, it's to make money. And that's why indie games have a special place in my heart. And I'll do everything I can to promote them. Because I think they deserve a lot more attention than they get. And there's a couple that make their way up to, like, the public consciousness. Uh, mobile games got candlelized by money. Yeah. Yeah. It, especially because with mobile games, they're a lot more accessible to the layman. Or not, well, maybe not layman, but just the average Joe that doesn't consider themselves a gamer. 
Even that I don't think is correct. I'm trying to find the right words to explain this. But a lot more accessible. Everybody's got a phone, and you can play them wherever you are, just so long as you're not driving. Yeah, casual gamer. Okay. That's a probably better way of putting it. I wanted to ask you guys, uh, and I didn't expect to be able to ask you. Today I was going to message you and ask, is there any... Um, any desire to add any sort of multiplayer to this, either one-on-one -on -one or co-op? Because I feel like both could work. Co-op would be would be fantastic. I, I have a friend of mine that I already have in mind that I would play this game co-op with. <laughs> Just because... He's got the kind of sense of humor that would be perfect for this game, and I'm probably going to tell him about it afterwards. I told him about Foot Gun uh, last week. I don't know if he's played it yet, but i got to tell him about this as well. A racing indoor game like Simpsons Hit and Run. Believe it or not, Simpsons Hit and Run is a game that I've somehow completely missed. I never played it. Maybe that will be one that I have a stream for at some point in the future, but I'm kind of ashamed that I haven't played it. It's just... It was like 2000. Yeah. I know that there are still people that play it, though. Still people remember it fondly. But it was... It was kind of a challenging game at that point, so wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've heard. No, 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 God, no, this isn't insane. This is, uh, this is hard mode, I believe. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it this long on uh, <laughs> insane. I would have died. Well, thank you very much. Again, I've, I've put, I've played the crap out of this demo. Actually, it's kind of funny because the first, the first playthroughs that I had, I thought they were different levels. I was expecting them to be different levels. And then it st slowly started to dawn on me that I'm playing the same level over again. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm okay with this. This is fun. And it's different because the upgrades that I get are different. And the goals that I get are different. So it, even though it's a demo and there's the one level and the two vehicles, there's still a lot of different ways to play it. Oh, how did I find out about it? Uh... uh I couldn't tell you exactly where, but I believe... I, I found out about it on Twitter, that I know for sure. Actually, that's where I found out about most of the games I've been playing. In the past couple of weeks or so, I think I've played demos for... Five or six different... Um, five or six different games. And I've streamed a couple of them. Okay. Oh, we got boss time. But yeah, I've, I've managed to... I've been lucky to play a few... Whoa. We're in a radiated zone. Turn back, turn back. Oh, um... It's... What is my Twitter handle? <laughs> I should probably know this. <laughs> it's, uh... I'll put it in chat. Okay, so what's the... Okay, we're dealing with the boss now. Let's give him some armor piercing. I won't defeat you. Yeah, let's see about that, buddy. Yeah! That's it. Try to collect as many. Oh. oh, wait. This was normal mode. My bad. Okay. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I put together a couple of uh, just gifts of some of my... Uh, a couple of different playthroughs I had. I was showing off the number of drones that I had. I think I had, like... Um, I think I had something like 
what, I had two healer drones, three spike drones, and three laser drones, and I was just, just mowing everything down. That was on hard mode. Try jump over the road goal yet? Uh, no, I haven't. But you can, that's the one thing I like, is I can choose different goals, can't I? Only completed five. You had five? You could get five? You can get five lasers? The most I've gotten of any type of drone is three. I got this one. Uh, get 80 miles per hour on the road for two and a half seconds. I didn't go back in time, though. I was very, very disappointed that I didn't go back in time. Wait, how do I do this? New goals, and then where was the option? Ah, all right. So let's say... Three saw drones and five other drones. It's rare to get all five of them. Same like... Th then let's see. All laser. Huh. Okay. I'm going to keep trying to reset until I get the jump over the road one. Reach the boss without shooting any enemies. How's that even possible? I guess just mow people down? Without leaving the road, that one... Some of these I know I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Deal 3,000 damage in five seconds. Oh, I can just pick. Okay. Oh! Thank you for that. I was acting like an idiot. Jump over the road. <laughs> Apple AR headset. So, you had to take out a mortgage for that, I'm assuming. Let's see what we can upgrade here. Defense. Oh, that's expensive. Okay. So we're going to... I did pick hard mode, right? Oh, don't drop it. No, 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 no. You have to ensure that, baby. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to... Am I going to be able to do that without getting a bunch of upgrades? Ah, okay. Well, I'll try and focus on that then. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, um... What's the blowback unit? Actually, it's kind of great that this came up. I'm not familiar with this. What? Uh, and I haven't accidentally found a way to make it work. I'll get it, but uh, it's when you level up and it blows enemies back. Oh! Okay, well, let's test it out. Oh, okay. Now I see. I wasn't paying attention to that before. Oh. Uh, okay, let's go with a boost, because we're trying to make this jump. We're trying to jump over Springfield Gorge. I'm king of the world! Ooh, this might be... I have to remember where the hell I am on the map, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it yet. <laughs> oh man, right in the middle of the jump. <laughs> yeah man, thanks for stopping in and thanks for answering my questions. If I can think of anything else, um, I I'll let you guys know. I appreciate you stopping by. Enjoy your PF Janks. Oh, I didn't make it. I love the swinging ball. Ooh. 
Now I want to get those five laser drones, now that I know that's possible. Uh, okay, sticking with the nitro. I will try my best, and if I do, I will cut a clip and I'll post it to Twitter and I'll tag you guys. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just got... Oh, wait. I just got a turbo. I have to find the freaking road. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. Shoot. Nope, not yet. Need more turbo and more speed. Oh, I w that wasn't close. That was only about, like, halfway. I'm gonna hover around this spot, though. Um, nothing that helps with speed. But, if I get this and I get that turbo upgrade... I won't be able to make it. Ah. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's try it. Nope. Oh, right here is where I need to be. Ah! Not enough. Okay, well, we've got the spot. It's my pleasure. And, uh, yeah, uh, if it... If it helps you guys make a better game, I'll give you all the feedback that you need. Thanks for stopping in, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, getting uh, closer. Yeah! We did it!